Good morning. Well, today we're going to start working on the electrics for the house. Um, basically, what I have to do is to access parts of the roof that I have no idea what's up there. Um, I've started making a hole over here on inside one of these cupboards. Um, I have another video where I show where I basically smash through and it all comes down and stuff like that. And if you look up there, you can see that I have it roughed out. But what you can see up there now is that I have to do is I have to just kind of refine the edges a little bit so I can um, fit a, what do you call it, like a metal attachment point for a trap door. Because the idea is why well, I want to have a trap door that I can just go do and it comes down and I can get access to the, 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 the loft spaces that I can't access. So in this house, the one whole side, I can completely access with the one that's at the end of the hallway, which you probably would have seen in the um, video of the whole house tour. Be doing it to get the wires run across, any AC or heating pipes, plus just having access. Um, another plan is, is that once we get the roof done, I'll uninsulate. And I'm going to insulate just at the, at, at the, at the rafter floor, if that makes sense. Going to put like 300 centimeter, or 300 millimeters of insulation there. Uh, most of this upper stair or upper floor, there's no insulation whatsoever. And the tiles, even on the tiles, you can actually see light through them. So there's just heat that just wafts up that we're losing. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to cut that hole in the, the upper level just a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to fix the frame for the trap door and then make sure that all works. Um, it was kind of funny because a couple of weeks ago we had someone come around knocking on the door uh, and they're the people that trim the trees. So they come along and trim the trees and they, and luckily my wife was here and she talked with them and basically says, do you know you have big holes like this big in your roof? And I'm like, yeah, I, we figured we can't see it. Um, but he went up with his cherry picker or whatever to trim some trees across the street. And he saw it and let us know. So I'm, and I've never been able to see it. So we're going to go and take a look when we cut on the other side to see how big the, how big the spaces are. Um, we're not allowed to touch it. So even there's a hole right now, I can't even, I can't move the tiles. I can't repair the roof because we're currently suing uh, the real estate agent for kind of withholding information, hiding, hiding these defects. She was or that they basically said that the roof was like new and it wasn't. So we're getting, it's been two years, over two years. It's a long process in France to sue. So, but we're expecting, fingers crossed, by Christmas to have some good news on that. All right. Let's take down some stuff. Take down a piece here and then just cut the ends of these off up here. Just there's just enough for me to get a screw on the edge of it. Uh, this flat, this trap door thing, there's not going to be a lot of weight or anything on it. So I'm not too worried about that. And even if it doesn't just get the edge of this one, it'll be supported on the other three sides. So it should be fine. Because um, I don't want to, if I can avoid, and I may just stick a few screws in here after before, is I want to avoid getting rid of the nails on the lath that holds up the ceiling, all these, the wooden slats that they've plastered over probably in the 60s by the looks of it. Let's see if it fits. 
Slightly smaller than what I'd like, but that's fine. I'm gonna have this much space instead of this here. It'll go right to the edge up here, should be fine. So then I'll just basically drill, pre drill some holes in these. Put probably one in each, one there, one there, and then I'm gonna run um, basically noggins this way. So I'm gonna take a piece of wood from outside, uh, chop it to this length and combine it to these two choice the rafters, the same as over here. Do one on this side and that'll be able to support it all. Because all this is gonna do is a boom, and then I'll be able to climb up with a ladder and put in either insulation or run wires or whatever. That's the first step. Let's go cut some noggins. Yeah, so basically what I've done is I've just gone and um, notched a little section of the ceiling joist for this little thing here, which is like a little tab that sticks in. Because this goes up like this, I'm going to then put screws in along the, these edges around here, and that goes up into the the, the, raft, the ceiling joist, I guess, or rafters, and then that pins it up. But yeah, so that's this little hook here stops when you've initially opened the um, ceiling or the uh, trap door. It stops it from smacking in the head. And uh, then I'm just yep, screwing the drill holes in around this. That gets screwed up. And then the plasterboard or the drywall just comes in and matches what the door is. For also, what I'm going to do is because it's going in the center, I'm going to be adding in. Um, so if the floor joists are like this or the ceiling joists are like this, I'll be putting in these between the, um, the joists to support it on all sides. What I'm going to do now is get those in, install them, and then I'm going to probably have to notch a little bit out to allow um, some tabs, which are these tabs here. These tabs basically have to slide up and under this frame to get in there. So they go like that, and then it goes clunk, and it sticks like that. So that's the plan. So essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill holes like this, so that it'll go into the, the, the rafters like that way. I'm going to put some big long, a couple big long screws in there going like this. That should be enough. I mean, we're not going to be, I might be putting a piano up there. We're not going to store anything up there. So it's just going to kind of just be a nice kind of enough a stable. You can sneak up there if you need to. Should be good enough. Alrighty, let's install these. It's such a tight fit in here. Oh. 
ain't going nowhere. Cool. All right. Now let's drill some holes for the frame. So 55. So if I drill 18 from each corner in all the directions, I should have enough for to hold it up. I don't, you know, once again, it's, I don't use a lot of weight or anything on it. So it should be fine. 18 centimeters. I look about right. I think so. This was my smallest metal drill. So hopefully that's not too big. Let's take a peek at it. And it's just these little guys going in. See that? That should be okay. A little bigger than I'd like, but it'll work. Got some clamps, so let's be smart about this. Clamp it in place. Let's loosely place these. Pretty close to where we want it. good and yeah, I say it's okay so now it makes sense to screw it in Cool, that should be attached. Let's see if the trap door actually goes in, which I don't think it will, but we'll see. Because I have to have clearance for these little knobs, I'm not too sure if I can squeeze it up and then do that or not. So we'll have to see. First one I've done, so. Now let's see if this fits, which I don't think it's gonna. Because I'm gonna slide it in sort of sideways. It's a bit weird. Yeah, see, that's not gonna get in. There's no way that's gonna get in. Now, should this have just been in hanging? I think so. How would that even hang? Mm, not a fan of this door. We got four of them to do. They were super cheap. Well, relatively, anyways. Oh, no. Yeah, I don't think this is going to work. So my worst fear is realized, and that is I have to make a notch out of these. All right, so I'll have to cut a little notch out in the corners up over on these guys here. Just like a little. 
Hopefully that will work. I don't like it. It's a bad design. Just put a hinge in. You know what I mean? Feels like it's going to fit better. So, what I've done off here, um, I found it really difficult to try to film up while I'm working on it, but uh, on a door for all the inches, I found they needed a lot more screws, so I drilled some more wool around and I finished chiseling out and getting perfecting the little notches I need for the inches or what I guess is supposed to be an inch um, on the door. Um, it's not amazing. Um, I don't think I'd buy that type of uh, door frame or trap door again. I think it would be better with just a uh, movable or with a hinge. Uh, I think this thing is supposed to be removable, but I'm never going to use it that much. I have the main side over there of the roof that I can easily just go on out or get into. So uh, if we ever want to store something or access to the roof, that's the way I go up. Um, however, if you look here, you can see that you push up on it, and then basically when it comes down, there's a little poking latch that stops it from smacking on the head. You remove that little, little um, poke and latch, and allows it to go all the way down. Um, the door doesn't come off, that's okay. I don't think we're going to need to do that. Um, the big plan is to insulate up there, which I'll show you more about what I've seen up there in a second. So I've got a bit of a light on here so we can take a look and I can try to show you the little area I found that's surrounding the window that's at the top of the stairs. So right now there's no insulation in and there's a wicked amount of wind coming through. Let's take a look. If we look in here. It goes down quite a bit. It's this hall is wow. I don't know if anyone can see that. That's almost like an entire room there. So that's the floor. Making sense? Yeah, so the floor is right there. The very bottom of that, I'm looking at it now. And if you come up, there's a wall here that's on the side of near the ceiling that connects with the ceiling where the, where the light is or the window is in the uh, hallway. It's just amazing. I wish I could show more. There's a massive space in there. It's like such a waste. It's like a huge cupboard. Wow. How far over does this even go? And where does the skylight come through? Okay, I think I can see another level. And you can see how large this area is. It's hard to give a scale to it. But it must be six, seven feet across as wide as the hallway. And then above where the light well is, or the window is. I think you maybe can see that. I'm past a beam now. There's something else up there. You see that? And you can actually see the light poking through from the roof where it's leaking, or where it would leak. Isn't that crazy? There's a whole little section here, whole almost room. So this brick here had already been broken through. I did find a piece of brick over here. That I've used. So this is working a little better with this camera. Gives you an idea of how the construction for this ceiling is, or this roof. So basically you have, I don't know, what's that? 10 centimeters, five centimeters, not even 10, five centimeters. So like the ceiling joists are not that beefy. And then they have these tiles that go on top. And then at the other end, I managed to crawl along here, put some, some boards down so I can get across. And uh, at the other end is an example of a tile that's fallen through. And you can see light through there and you can see the curved tiles, the kind of the, the Adobe or Mexican style or Spanish style tiles that go on top of this. So what we would be doing 
if we get a new roof, I believe, is we would replace these, these rafters and we replace these tiles, beefier rafters, and then we put bigger, and then we put uh, OSP uh, on top, with a membrane and just more like you would do North America kind of thing. And then, the, and then the traditional clay tiles that aren't really original, but that's fine. I'm a little worried in here because there's always spiders. They do have poisonous spiders in here. And this is exactly where they like to hang out. So yeah, been interesting. It's interesting to see what's up here. Finding that weird little room behind. I don't know if I can do anything with it. It's, they're not structural. These blocks here on this side, they're not structural. They're just kind of, from what I understand, they're just to divide rooms. They're only about, I don't know, half an inch thick. You can see up here how thick they are. They're not very big. So they're just, yeah, that's what a lot of the walls here are made out of instead of using um, plasterboard because they didn't have that, I guess, back in the 60s. But I'm not sure. And plus it's a fire and damp reason, I guess. And if we look over here, we can see how the fireplace, which was going up and goes up through that cupboard, suddenly takes a veer to screen left and then goes up into what a chimney will be probably over there somewhere. You can see all the burn under in the smoke where we'll come through, so that's why we're not using them. We have to line them if we were ever to use the fireplaces. And this would be the one that comes up from the den on the, on the ground floor. Let's take a look and see if we can get to the other end of this ceiling, which is above the games room. I'm crawling on my hands and knees in here, which is all the space we have. You can see how big the joists are, or the ceiling supports. I don't know what these ones would be called. Beams? Yeah, beams would be more like it. I'm just using some old pallet wood. So it's got lots of it. Lots of spider webs. And so here's some bits of stuff that have fallen in over the years. And these little guys here, these pieces of wood as they go across, they're what hold up the floor for probably, or the, the, the ceiling around the, um, the skylight. I don't know if you can see that there, but there's a tile where my shadow is that used to be on the top up there. See if I can show you what that looks like up there. So this tile here used to be, you can get you up there, up there. See what's missing? It's just collapsed. I don't know if someone's walked on it or it's just cracked over age or whatever. But yeah, you can see the got the sun up there, and there's just tiles, curved tiles, roof tiles sitting on top of it. I don't know how much you can see under this floor joist, but there's a whole section that under there that I don't think I'll be able to insulate properly um, unless they take the roof off. And if you can see it, it's got to be four feet, getting down to a very low crawl space. I don't know if I'm going to use blown insulation under there, or if I'm going to try to lay some uh, rolls of insulation in there for when it uh, for when we get the uh, roof off. But it's a long space and that's letting out a lot of heat. So apologies for this video. It's not going to be all that exciting um, because my back has been kind of hurting me still. Uh, this is this whole video, which looks like nothing, is kind of taken all week for me to do. I kind of go up the ladder a little bit and you know, smash some stuff out and then suddenly my back hurts. So I took a day off and then go back up and try again the next day. Etc. So I'm getting much better. Something really weird happened where I, I shifted my hip. I was trying to do some stretches on the floor to roll over my knee and, and, and something popped. So I'm really hoping that that's what it was. Uh, I had a very specific spot in my lower back that was sore. Um, I've got scans in a couple of weeks that I'm going to do, but for right now, um, I have a general pain on the whole side, but it's better if that makes sense. So I'm really fingers crossed that I can start picking up the pace and I can start getting on with what we need to do in this house. So anyways, the next thing I've got to do is I'm going to go in, smash a hole through the ceiling in the hallway. Um, I've just got to figure out where to put it because you saw those big uh, beams that are going through the whole, the whole roof. 
what I don't want to do is go up and smash a hole and there's a beam in the way, right? And I want to make sure that I'm on the right side of the beam so that it's not you know, somewhat useful. So at least we can get up there and assess what's going on, run wires and insulate. Uh, so I'm going to take a camera and I'm going to, I've got a camera on a stick or on a, on a flexible camera and put it up there. We'll take a look uh, and then I will drill holes where needed or if it's required. And then we'll just determine where I'm going to put that trap door and then I'll cut it out, smash it out, whatever you want to call it and uh, get onto it. So anyways, that's the plan. I hope you see you in the next video. I really appreciate you being patient with me while I'm getting through this injury. And uh, I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks a lot. Oh, and if you can, give me a like and a thumbs up. And I uh, just want to say cheers. Thanks a lot.